If anybody out there doesn't like strong opinions or controversy or anything of that sort, feel free to click this video off. I have been seeing a lot of things on the road which, to be very frank, are appalling and disgusting and uh, all of that nasty stuff. Let's discuss tidiness, people. This is an extremely, extremely important topic because what I think a lot of nomads fail to realize is that, and, and I'm primarily speaking of stealth campers, you know, people that stay in, you know, places like Walmarts and Cracker Barrels and truck stops and things of that nature. What a lot of nomads don't realize is that when we stay at those types of places, we are essentially guests of that business, of that entity. And you really have to conduct yourself just as you would uh, as if you were a guest in somebody's house. That's exactly how you have to conduct yourself. You know, there are rules and they may be unwritten nomad rules that we should follow, but a lot of us are not following them. A uh, case in point, let me just uh, illustrate a couple of disgusting, nasty things that I've seen uh, over the past few months. Um, number one, I have seen people empty their pee containers, their number one containers, um, directly in. I mean, this is so disgusting, it, I, I can't even uh, talk about it, but I've seen people actually pour their pee containers directly on the pavement uh, in these parking lots of, of, again, it could be a Walmart, a Cracker Barrel, a truck stop. They open the door to their vehicle, their van, their car, whatever it is, and they just empty the piss directly onto the ground. I'm sorry, people, that is disgusting. It's an eyesore. It's not only disgusting for me as a nomad to walk through your pee stain that's on the ground or your waste stain that's on the ground, but for other customers of that business. And, you know, again, it's things like this that are going to cost us spots. So if that's not disgusting by itself, you know, another thing that I've seen, and again, these are just very brief examples, people. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but I don't think anybody wants to sit here through, you know, a 40-minute uh, video of me ranting along. Uh, but another thing that I've seen, uh, I've actually seen this twice at a Walmart and a truck stop. I've seen somebody break out their camping stove, you know, the little uh, propane camp camping stove in a parking lot, in a public parking lot. And by the way, this was not at night. This was in broad daylight. I've seen a couple of people break out a camping stove and just start cooking a full meal on the back of their, their car. I'm sorry, but that to me, again, is just atrociously bad form. That is not something you want to do when you are a guest when businesses are allowing you uh, to stay in their parking lot to, to get sleep. That is not something you want to do. So these are just two examples of a lot of the craziness that I've seen over the past couple of months. And again, it's disgusting, it's uncalled for, it's uncivilized, whatever words you want to use, but here's the bottom line, it has to stop. And you know, again, if you're a newbie, uh, obviously, you, you hopefully know these things before you hit the road, but I will give you a little bit of slack. But if you are somebody that has been on the road for a while and you are doing these disgusting, atrocious things, I'm sorry, but you are giving all nomads a bad name. One of the, the worst things that I, I see time and time and time and time again, uh, there are so many nomads that just park in a place and never leave. Uh, they just become glued to their spots and they're just roaches. I mean, they, you cannot get these people out. And that is definitely not something that you want to do when you are a full-time nomad. Again, primarily a stealth camper I'm speaking to. Uh, I have gone, you know, I go to, to Planet Fitnesses and truck stops to take showers and things like that. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times I go back to these places, you know, a couple of times a week. And I constantly, constantly see the same vehicles, not only the same vehicles, but they're parked in the same exact spots. They do not move at all. And it is not only an eyesore, it is just a horrible look for nomads in general. And look, any, you know, businesses aren't stupid. I mean, they have cameras, they have security personnel and things like that. You don't think that they're going to notice that there's a car, that there's a guy or a woman or whoever it might be that's been living in their parking lot. Not, you must rotate your spots on a regular basis. 
I myself, I have four, five, six, seven spots that I move back and forth between, and it is imperative that you do that because the longer that you stay at one or two individual spots, people are going to become aware. Uh, once they become aware, that's it. Um, they have the option at that point to kick us out, to ban parking in the, in the facilities, anything of that nature. So again, must rotate your spots on a regular basis. Do not stay in one place for more than a few days, a week tops, and that is the longest, people. Get in late and get out early as a general rule. The more that you are unseen, the better. Most nomads that you'll meet on the road, and this has certainly been my experience, are absolutely some of the nicest people that you will ever meet uh, in your life. They are kind, they are compassionate, they are sweet, and again, that has been my experience as a whole. Uh, however, uh, most of us tend to be, I'm not going to use the word loners because that uh, gives a negative connotation to, to uh, you know, how we are, but uh, most of us tend to like our space and we do like our privacy. So one of the things to keep in mind when, when you are uh, near another nomad, as a general rule, unless space is at, at a premium and it's very, very crowded and you have no other choice, Always avoid parking right next to, and I mean directly like right on top of another nomad, because again, most of us are pretty private. Uh, most of us are pretty sensitive about our space. And, you know, we do like our, our space. Uh, so, you know, I, I've had this happen many, many times. I'll be basically in a deserted parking lot at night, getting ready to hunker down. And, you know, another nomad comes in and there is, you know, 150 parking spaces available. And lo and behold, somebody will park literally directly in the space next to me. Um, so not something you want to do as a general rule. And again, I know there are uh, exceptions if space is at a premium and things of that nature. And by the way, I totally get that there are some people, uh, especially females, that might be, uh, they might feel more comfortable, you know, being near another person. And that's totally fine. I get that as well. Uh, but, you know, everything is within reason. So if you want to park a couple of spaces away from a nomad or something along those lines, perfectly acceptable. Uh, but again, I cannot stress enough, most of us do like our space, so please do not park directly on top of a fellow nomad. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there are a lot of us out there on the road that are hurting right now, and this lifestyle is the only lifeline that we have. It's everything to us. So having our cars is, is everything. That's how we live. That's how we survive. And I totally get that because I am somewhat in that position as well. Uh, however, uh, yes, there is a however. Uh, again, there are certain niceties and certain guidelines and certain rules that we should be following uh, as nomads, especially to our fellow nomads. And I've had a couple of instances happen over the past year where I've had fellow nomads approach my vehicle and ask me for things like cigarettes, uh, uh, drugs, uh, yes, in some cases drugs, uh, money, uh, and things of that nature. And, you know, to me, that is an absolute no-no. It's just something you don't do. Uh, if it's food, I will absolutely give someone food, water, anything along those lines, no problem. Uh, matter of fact, I, I even ask fellow nomads from time to time if they do have, you know, basic supplies like food and water and, you know, things of that nature. So totally get that. But when people are coming up to you asking you for, you know, drugs and money and cigarettes and all of that, again, very, very, very bad form, gives all of us a black eye and you are going to ask the wrong person sooner or later and the authorities are going to get called or we're just going to get banned from sleeping in a lot of these places. So again, don't do stupid things of this nature. Uh, definitely not good and will definitely wind up getting us banned in many, many places. So what do you guys think? I mean, am I off the mark by bringing all of this up and airing all of this dirty laundry, so to speak? I've just seen so much crap and so much baloney over the past couple of years that you know, again, my frustration level is pretty high. So I would be very curious as to other people's opinions, other people's thoughts on this. Please, by all means, uh, leave, you know, a comment. 
I realize I might get a lot of, uh, you know, hateful, uh, you know, comments and things of that nature. That is totally fine. All of us do not have to have the same opinions. However, as long as we have an opinion, that is the most important thing. Are you seeing the same thing on the road that I am? Uh, again, this is just hurting all of us in my opinion and hopefully we can all, you know, uh, gather around this, discuss it and put an end to a lot of this uh, nonsense.